You better go back out. Thank you. That's a wasp. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I'm back at again with another video for you guys. In today's video, you're gonna be seeing a lot of me. And when I say that, I mean you're gonna be seeing more of me than I think I've actually ever seen. Basically, my friend suggested for a video that I have a rummage through my old baby photos and review them and share them in front of all you guys. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I probably feel like baby spice today. Well, I wish I looked like her, but still I've gone for that kind of vibe today. All right, I'm gonna put them face down so I don't actually know what to expect. So it's a bit of a surprise for us all. Okay. I've got quite a lot here, actually. I've got about 14. Right, so the first one, oh, oh. Okay, so this one, I think is actually my first day of primary school. They look quite cute, actually. If you can see closely my fringe, is very fluffy and pushed at the front. I think before this photo was taken, my mum and dad were away and my nan and granddad was looking after me at the time. And I found my hobby, hobby craft? No, hobby craft probably wasn't around by then. I got an arts and crafts plastic scissors. I brought my hair to the front and literally just gone like that. No, I didn't. I think I had a fringe. No, I had a, I think I had a fringe and I didn't want a fringe anymore. No, 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 okay. No, that wasn't the story. This is the story. So yeah, my mum and dad went away and then I found my uh, plastic scissors and I got my hair in front and I really wanted a fringe, that was it. And my mum wouldn't let me have a fringe because it takes ages to grow out. So while she was away, I got my hair and instead of probably it probably would have looked better if it went a little bit lower. I decided to go right up here, literally up here. I don't know what I was thinking. And I don't, I'll try to find some photos. I think I might have one of where my mum's tried to clip it back so it tries to grow again. But yeah, I think that's my fringe now. We have to probably get a fringe. So it looked like that. So that's me. So that's photo number one. So far, not too embarrassing. I have to cover my mum's um, face out of the way, otherwise she will absolutely kill me. But that is me, I think I was like only a couple months old. And I look like, let me actually get a closer look. I look like a nightingale. No, what's the name? I look like a nightingale. All I need is like a lamp and walking through like halls at night and I'll be set, I think. Look, look how frilly my hat is. I'm surprised I can even see. I do look cute. Thank you, little bubba. <laughs> that was only taken like last week, not even that. I think it was actually this morning when you try and get out of bed. This is me on holiday, just chilling, like minding my own business pretty much. I'm loving life. To be fair, I think this has been me the whole of lockdown. Number three, what have we got here? Oh look, here she is, Andy Pandy. What was my mum thinking? Oh, look at the shoes though, you know, the little Velcro ones with the, I, I'm pointing at it like you're gonna be able to see it. I hope you can. But you know, the little Velcro ones from Clark's. Oh, so cute. And my little bracelet with my little chunky wrists. I had really curly hair as well back then. I'm still curly now. This comment's gonna be very opinionated, but when I was younger, I used to hate dogs. I got uh, my nan, again, my nan comes back into it. My nan took me to the co-op and she pushed me in the pushchair and we were standing outside and a Great Dane literally went in my face, up in my grill and barked so loudly. I think ever since then, I've been really scared of dogs. It's only been the last couple of years I've kind of adjusted and actually kind of like dogs now. But this obviously was probably shortly after I got scared by a Greek Dane that someone on holiday is forcing me to stroke a puppy. And my face is really not having any of it, to be honest. I'm like, please get him out of the way. <laughs> Here we go. This is me pretending to be like Michael Jordan, trying to do like a penalty shootout in basketball when I was five years old. Oh, my little Furby, do you remember Furbies? I used to love them, I used to be obsessed. This is at the old house, I think, actually. I remember that basketball hoop as well. 
I don't know if I, by my facial expression, I don't know if I've missed or I've done a banging girl. Let me see. Oh my. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I think this is probably not a recent one, but I say it's not really a baby photo. This is probably my teenage years. And I had braces and I had glasses and I had really frizzy hair. And oh, I think this photo is probably gonna come back and haunt me in years to come, but let's just get it out of the way. So this was probably when I was like 13 or 14 and I had braces. This was before I started secondary school. Actually, this would have been younger. This was before I started secondary school. So I might, might have been like 11 or 12. And I had glasses and my hair's really frizzy and curly as you've probably seen with all the other baby photos. And yeah, oh, I'm not happy about it. I mean, there's a big difference, isn't there? Like if we compare them, I hope. At least I've got straight teeth now. What am I actually, what have I bought? Oh, it's probably one of my birthdays. ATM savings bank. Well, that would have come handy for me now, wouldn't it? Not that I've been saving at all. Oh, from the science museum. Right, let's just, we've all seen it, we've all laughed at it. Yeah, yeah, great, I'm putting it back. Oh, this is a cute one. A very angry one though. This is us, again, I'm on holiday. All these photos are pretty much either a, like a celebration, so a birthday, or it'll be me on holiday. There's no between, I think that's the only time my mum actually got the camera out when we was on holiday. This is me eating ice cream. It looks like a banging ice cream as well, like a nice ice cream sundae. And it looks like I think my dad's probably taken a mouthful without asking. And I do not look happy about it. To be honest, I'm like that now. I do like my fashion sense there. Is that really weird? I really like my sandals. Look at them, they're like sparkly, little strappy silver sandals. I could probably wear them now and get away with it if they fit. To be fair, my mum used to dress me up quite nicely. Look at me, matching look. Pink trousers, pink little embroidering, embroidery, embroidery, t-shirt, and a pink scrunchie. That is pretty much what I'm, I do now. I match my scrunchie to my outfit. Fair play. We don't mind that one. What have we got? Here we go. This was this was actually taken last week. Me and my mermaid outfit, pretending to be Ariel, which is basically me every single day. And then next to, I'm assuming a Dalmatian, or someone's got chicken pox. That might be my next profile picture, to be fair. Keep an eye on that one. Oh, we've only got three left. Oh, I'm breezing through these. What have we got? Here we go. This is um, when Boris announces lockdown's finished. Me going down to the beach with my, going down to the beach, absolutely not, jumping on a plane on holiday. This will be my go-to look. So I've got my summer activity case and I've got my floral petal flip-flops. I've got my fan, which is like a lanyard around my neck. I've got my sunglasses and I've got my cap. What more would you want? To go on holiday. That is a proper summer vibe right there. Okay, I think this one actually beats the one that I've just shown you. That is a vibe. That is me every weekend when the sun's out. Bank holiday Monday, this is me. This is me. What was I thinking with the red sunglasses? Am I okay? Last but not least, what have we got? This is the photo I was telling you about when I cut my fringe. My mum has tried to clip it all the way, so the clip is like here, pretty much. This is me and the gang. <laughs> we've got Rachel's room. We've got all my toys. We've got the Teletubbies lined up. Don't you worry about that. And I've got my little stereo. I remember that stereo. I love that. And I used to get the tapes and I had to get a pencil and, a, and like proper rewind and I'll be ready. Half on to start again. I think my socks now, those socks are in fashion as well, you know, with the frilly uh, tops. Wow. I should try and find some more of these because this was actually quite fun. I really enjoyed it. Some of these photos I haven't actually properly seen before and acknowledged. And now I kind of want to get the whole photo albums out now and just have a proper run. These were like the first four 
photo albums that I could actually pick up easily. If not, my mum's got about 25,000. Otherwise, I'd actually be here all day. I hope you really enjoyed the video. It was something a bit different. It was different for me as well. It was quite fun to have a look, a look through them and also with my fashion sense back in the day. I just hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you next week. Bye.